Hey guys, welcome to the fourth video of my series on introduction to Matplotlib and in this video we're gonna see how we can plot bar charts in Python using Matplotlib. So without any delay, let's get started. So what is a bar chart? So it is just a way of visualizing um, a data in which you have some discrete values. So let's say you have um, some marks of different subjects that you got in an exam like this. So what if you want to visualize this data? So one way of visualizing this data is to plot it on a bar chart. On the bar chart, um, these numbers will act as the heights of the bars, right? And these values will act as some labels for the x-axis ticks, you can say. So in this way, you will get a very nice looking bar chart. So that is what we're gonna see how to do in Python using Matplotlib. So the first thing that I need to do is just to simply import matplotlib library. Um, uh, you can specifically say that I'm importing the pyplot submodule in the matplotlib library and I'm referring it as plt. So now um, I'm gonna just create a dictionary which I already have, I just executed it. So I have a marks dictionary like this and now it's time to plot a bar chart. So what all do we need for plotting a bar chart? The first thing that we need is the x-axis values on which a bar chart needs to be made or the bars need to be made. So those x-axis value can be represented as range 1, 2, 6, which simply means that I want a bar on x-axis value 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 because I have 5 subjects here. So range 1 to 6 are going to be my ticks. So I'm going to call them ticks. Then I have to specify the heights of my bars. So I'm just going to write height is equal to, um, it is going to be list of marks dot values. So I'm just going to take the dictionary values here. So height is going to be 9, 8, 6, 10, 7, right? So I've got the heights of my bars. And finally, I have to specify what are going to be the labels for my ticks. So basically, you are writing 1, A, B, C here instead of 1, 2, 3. Similarly, I would like to like I will like to write English, maths, physics, chemistry, biology. So for doing that, I can simply write tick label is equal to list of marks dot keys. So I just take the keys of my dictionary marks. So now I have tick label as the names of my subjects, right? So I have got all the data ready and now all I need to do is simply use the bar function of my plt um, my pyplot module in which all i have to pass is i have to pass x which is the ticks then the height and some other optional things so let me just try a very simple version which is just passing ticks and height and then plt dot show in order to see the graph so now look at that we get a very nice looking bar chart here and one thing you might notice is that we are just having one, two, three, four, and five here. So now you can just specify your tick label, tick label equal to tick label, which I have already defined. And now look at that, what we get, we get English, math, physics, chemistry, biology written here, right? And now we can also change the color of my bars. I can just write color equal to, let's say R, which is stand for red and B. So what this will do is that it will create a kind of a pattern like red, blue, red, blue, and so on. So let us see what happens. Look at that. We get a nice looking um, bar chart here now where we have some different colors happening. If I do R, B, G, then what will happen? There will be R, B, G, R, B, and then again G if there is one more bar. So yeah, so this is how you plot some patterns in your, um, in your bar chart. And now, um, one thing that you might want to change is the width of your bars according to your needs. So you can just write width equal to 0 point, let's say 7. So this will make my bar width a bit lesser or I can make it 1.0. So now they will touch each other, right? Because there is a difference of um, one between each tick. So let me make it 0 0.9 then. So now this is how my bar chart looks like. So yeah, so this is done and now let us move on to how to draw a horizontal bar chart. A horizontal bar chart also looks quite cool. So we like to make a horizontal bar chart here. 
So all you have to do is tlt.barh is the function for drawing a horizontal bar chart in which the first thing you have to pass is the um, again the ticks but they will be plotted along the y-axis. So ticks can be written as ticks. Then you have to pass the widths. Width means the height that you are having in the simple bar chart. So since I have my width in the form of the height variable, so I'm just going to keep it height. And then the another thing that I need is um, let's say tick label so let me copy them so here are these and finally if I want to specify the height of my bars because now um, I will not call the width of my bars in this case um, as width in this horizontal bar chart I'll call them height so height equal to 0 0.9 so now look at that what we get we get a nice looking horizontal bar chart so now the labels are along the y-axis and the values are along the x-axis right so this is how you draw a horizontal bar chart so i hope the concept of simple bar chart horizontal bar chart is clear and now we are ready to move on to the last thing that we have here which is a comparison bar chart so let's say you have got your marks and you have got your friends marks and you want to make a bar chart which compares the marks of both of you so let's say you have another dictionary which contains marks and now you want to plot them side by side so how do you do that so the first thing that you would like to do is just to specify the ticks again but right now i'm gonna be using numpy for specifying the ticks i'm gonna say index is equal to np dot a range and i want five ticks so i'm just i'm just gonna put five so now i have a numpy array which contains zero one two three four five now you must be thinking that why did i use a numpy array why did not i use the simple range function so basically the reason behind it is that right now the index that I have specified here is going to be used for the marks of the person 1. For the marks of the person 2, I need different ticks because the bar is going to be different but on the same plot. So for that, I will simply like to add a bar width here like 0 0.35 let's say. So I will get a new index list or the new ticks for my uh, marks 2. So that's why I'm doing that. So now let me define bar width. Let me define it as let's say 0 0.35. So this is my bar width now. So now what I can do is that I can do plt.bar in which I have to first pass my x ticks, which I'm just specifying as index, and then height. Height is the list of mark values of the person one. And then I'm just gonna specify height two as list of marks two dot values right so i've got plt dot bar index height and then um, i have got plt dot bar index plus bar width and then height two so in this way i have got my data and now i would like to just give some label to my first bar plot so i'm just giving the name as let's say nikhil okay and then here I am just giving it the label as Ram. So these are going to be the particular names of my bar plot that I am going to plot on my graph. And then plt.legend will simply make a nice looking legend for um, my both bar charts so that I can identify them. And finally plt.show. So let us see what happens. Um, okay, so some problem here. So let us try to see what is it. Um, so we have the np dot a range as one two five. Okay, so I have to specify the bar width as well. So bar width is gonna be less, which is zero point three five. So I have to just specify width equal to zero point. Uh, width is bar width, right? So that is what I missed here. Width is equal to bar width. So now let look at that now looking much better so i have got a nice looking legend here like nikhil ram so nikhil has marks in the green in the blue bars and ram has marks in the orange bars so like this we have got a nice looking plot a bar plot a comparison bar plot specifically and one more change that you might want to do here is the labels right so we have not given the label names here so in order to give label names all you have to do is you have to use plt.xticks function in which the first argument is the t 
pics that you want to have so i'm just going to put it as index plus bar width by two so what does this mean um, as you can see here that this particular tick is zero and this particular tick where this uh, second bar is made is 0 0.35 so 0 0 0.35 1 1.35 and i want to have my tick right here in the middle so it is um 3.5 by 2 0 plus 3.5 by 2 1 plus 3.5 by 2 and so on so that is what i'm going, going to do here to each value of my index values i'm going to add bar width by 2 so this is the first argument of my x ticks which means that i want to have my ticks at these places and then tick label so tick label is the name that i want to have at those places so here you go a nice looking comparison bar plot is ready as you can see we have got english maths physics chemistry biology here and we can simply compare right now so this was all about bar chart from me i hope the concept of bar chart is clear and you can easily make any kind of bar chart in using matplotlib now so if you still have doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching